everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, we jumped planets at the end of the last episode, and we are here at, if we go to uh, navigation real quick, we're here at Hainfield. Um, it's pretty close to the board. I was going to go to one of these planets where there's actually conflicts going on, um, but the problem with the conflicts is that it tries to throw you into a, as many battles as possible, and we just don't have the juice for that at the moment. So I just jumped over to Hainfield here. It's a one and a half skull... Uh, oh, wrong wrong world right here one and a half skull earth like planet um, alien vegetation rich uh, Terran world inner sphere civilization uh, or inner sphere level civilization so we jumped over there um, we're going to go and do a couple things first thing we're going to do is going to go to the hiring hall there's a couple pilots in here that I want so we're going to hire Mothman it. today uh, just because he's a vehicle pilot uh, it's got bonus health minus one recoil plus one OP accuracy. So I'm thinking that this pilot will probably eventually take over um, the Cloudbuster. So we're going to hire him. New and then I'm going to hire Killjoy weather. here. Um, we had to get rid of a lot of our pilots when we, were, we had a problem with our money flow, but right now we're doing fine. So I think we're going to hire Killjoy here. Um, so she's corporate manager, a merchant ship crew, technical school. So she's got bonus to clustering. Um, plus one mech tech, which is great to always have, uh, and reduces the uh, cost and upkeep for mech bay upgrades by 5%, which is good. I don't care about the increased pilot upkeep, it's fine. Um, and then uh, merchant, um, reducing the Argo upgrade cost by 5, and the same thing with spacer gives us another 5 for reducing the Argo upkeep and upgrade cost. So, and it, but also it's increasing the pilot upkeep. So, this is one of those pilots that. You don't want to be spending a lot of like if we if we like the one time fee is this space salary is forty three so if all these um, they're five percent reductions add up to more than forty three thousand then you're making money um, but the really like the real reason I want this pilot is because we've all already got awareness and um, tactician and we can use this as another good scope pilot so um, plus the mech tech is not gonna not gonna harm us so we're gonna hire her for now. New so we got an extra available. mech warrior too. So if somebody goes down, we we got a we have a replacement that we can uh, bring to bear, which is good. So uh, let's get them some uniforms now. Where's Mothman? Here we go. Standing by. Um, customize. So we want to get you the. Uh, what what was I doing with this ones this way and then the blue? Here we go. Is that the right one? Pretty sure that's the right one, the right camera and everything. Why is she got the wrong? Oh, that's. Oh, aye, I see. Because we just hired her. I was like, she's got the wrong uniform for a mech pilot, but, and we're gonna go like that. There we go. So we got our pilots ready to go now. Um, let's go to the store now because I haven't checked the store out since we got here. Let's see what we got here. So we got bolt-on tandems. Ooh, advanced optics Mark III. I, I we need that, like, and the exchanger would be nice. I'll have to remember this planet. Oftentimes, when you get to find a planet with advanced optics, they'll relatively consistently get them in. So um, it's always good to note where they are. Now, I, tandem rocket five. We don't have anybody that can currently use this because everybody's got their stuff maxed out now so I guess we just oh actually we we do have somebody that can use it um, where's the store we're gonna just gonna buy it's only 10 grand we're gonna buy that right now so I think the advanced optics um, how close to the end of the month are we new weapon systems available pretty darn close eight days so let's hold off I uh, want to go mech bay this guy can use the tandem I believe yes you're the only one that doesn't have anything I was gonna put the AMS on this guy but it's three tons so oops wrong way it's three tons and this guy can only carry two and a half and I couldn't put the uh, bolt on tandems on here either um, simply because of the weight so I put the um, I took the uh, bolt on five off of this guy and put on the bolt on AMS and then on the hunchback I put on the bolt on tandems and the five that I took off the Talos I put it on here as well 
So, um, yeah, these guys have got a little bit of extra firepower, not much, but, or at least the Hunchback does, that is. Okay, cool. Now, uh, we're going to need that extra firepower because today, if we go to the command center. Pull up a chair. Uh, there's a bunch of missions that I want to take eventually. There's this one, but I think I want to go down here today. I want to try this two skull. I know it's ambitious. It's in the Badlands. Um, and I think we can do this one. I think this the 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 um, way this this is set up, it's a relatively straightforward fight. So and it offers good protection and stuff like that for our mechs. So we're gonna go this route. We're gonna go full salvage on it, and let's hope we don't get killed with <laughs> with this. We're gonna have a new um, pilot down here too. So I'm thinking that I want to get. Oop, not Killjoy. Uh, Mothman. Here we go. I want to get some... Ah, man. I want to get the experience on the um, Zoria. Because we've got greater range with this. Ah, uh, but she's got better recoil reduction. Although this guy gets one innately. Yeah, I think I want to keep her back. It's a, it's a tough call. Yeah, she gets minus one recall as well. Do I want the ACs hitting more often or... So the two ACs do 90 damage. And this does, if it hits with everything, it does, it does 85. 40 for the LRM-10, and, yeah, and 45 for the, um, for the cluster. Now, does that, yeah, the LBX-5, so I think it does 80. When, it, when you're firing cluster, the cluster splits into 4 times 10 damage, or is it 5 times 10 damage? I think it's 5 times 10 damage, so it could potentially be the same damage as the Cloud Buster if they, these both hit. Um... But with her using this one, even on low percentage chance to hit, she's bound to hit with something. So I'm going to go that route, I think. Alright, let's hope for the best. Yeah, I know, it looks like I might need four more firepower, but we're fine. Yeah, what could go wrong? Alright, here we go. Nighttime drop, it looks like. Sunglasses? The hell, it's nighttime. <laughs> It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Um, so, wow, this is really dark. The, uh, the tool tips. I just, I couldn't stop laughing there for a bit. So, after I said, eh, what could go wrong, right? It started, like, it started to load in the, uh, for the drop. And the very first tool, the very first tool tip said, inspiring guitar solo. So, I'm like, yeah. What could go wrong? Diddy -dee -dee. Moving out. Uh, we'll find out what could go wrong. Uh, where are we? In comparison to the base. So that's, I recognize that. So the base is here. Right. I know where we are. Kind of. There's the road up here, I think. That goes down this way and in. So, uh, let's get Griff up here. Coordinates received. Man, this is really dark. Yeah, there's the road. Copy that. Hunchback's got apparently better optics than everybody else for some reason. Affirmative. Sorry, this is so dark. I, I don't know what to tell you. We don't have any searchlights. Um. Coordinates received. All right, we got turrets online or spotted. Resting my mech. I want to make sure all, we're all moving together here, and I know where we are. Okay, so there's the road. That goes down. There's the four turrets surrounding, so I think we want to kind of go this way. Um, so there's two ways you can run this. And I guess it really depends on where you spawn. Uh, if the enemies get the turrets on this one, right, 
uh, you want to be in a position where, because if you don't have the firepower to kill all four turrets in one shot, you want to be in the position where only one or two of the turrets can see you at one time, directly. I mean, if, they're, if they've got missile launchers, you know, they got missile launchers. So one way to do it is to come up there. You can't really see it, but there's a there's a hill right here. or uh, Yeah, you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it on the compression, but there's a hill right here. You kind of move up this way, and this blocks these two while you kill these two. Or you can come around this way. There's a hill right here. You can kill this guy first and then come around and kill. Uh, I'm going to go to the right here. Then the other thing is, is if the turrets don't fire at you and, and the enemy drops, there's a guy that drops right here. And then one, two, and three more on this side. So it's better to be in a position where you can kill one guy real quick and not be under fire from the rest of them. So we're going to go this way. Confirm. Affirmative. Not going to move too far because I can't really like. I can kind of see the battlefield a little bit with this guy, but just barely. Let's go down the hill. Oop. Further down than that, if we can. There we go. Roger. All right, now these guys, I think I want to keep them probably This is going to be tricky cuz I'm not going to be able to see the battlefield here. Okay, let's That's go. That's a little better. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, so here's the hill here, right? We're going to try, if they get turrets, this turret guy is going to go down first, then this one, and then we'll kill this one, and then this one, probably. But we got to get somebody into the target zone, and it's, unfortunately, it's going to be Griff and uh, the Cephalus, because they're the fastest mechs. Move you here. Position confirmed. All right, Griff, um, let's get to... Oh God, it's so hard to... Like, no matter where you go, your back is to somebody. Let's try to stay, keep the back to the rocks if we can. Let's get there. You betcha. I hope that counts. Yeah, it does. And then the cephalus will be right beside you. That should count. Copy that. Yep, two of two. There we go. Hate to say it, but there may be something wrong with the biolab. Uh so nothing going on here? On it. Did we just get really lucky? We did. Oh my god, there's like nothing happening at this base. On my way. That is so okay. rare. It's so rare for that to happen. It's usually like the turrets are on your side and then mechs drop in or the turrets are against you. So them not being there is either a good or bad sign. Rolling. So there's one or two possibilities with this base coming up. I'm going to get up there and then I'll explain it. Alright, so we're nearly here. We're going to approach this base directly straight on. So either one or two things will happen here. Um, the base will be against us. They'll probably be ha either have turrets and a group of usually three mechs Moving out. that will appear out of the buildings. Out. Or the, um, they'll be happy to see us Moving and the position. enemies will drop a lance. Going. And let's hope it's the second one rather than the first one. Advancing, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way which one it is, but we'll find out here in a second. It looks like this is a point defense turret, but we'll find out. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, they're dropping a lance. Glad to see you. Yeah, we're here to help you guys. Alright, so they got... Primitive Brutus, Shadowhawk, and a Corsair. Okay, this could be an interesting fight. I say could. Um, Got it. So this is the Cephalus. Let's stay back here so they can't see you. On oh, we got another guy down here as well. Oh, Halopolis. Okay. So we got a chance to get some interesting salvage. Got it. It would be nice if we could get one of these guys whole, but I doubt it. Cloudbuster. So is this guy a point defense? What is this guy? It is. I don't have to worry about him shooting me in the back. Standard Ultra Auto Cannon turret. Pair of Ultra 2s. That's friggin' nice. Three LRM5s. I think that's it. There's only three turrets, right? Yeah. Um, 
Zoria doesn't nec doesn't necessarily need to be in direct fire. All right, let's figure out what's going on here. It's so hard to see. Sorry, guys. If we had our optics, here comes the artillery round. Somebody's got Hellstorm artillery. Took a hard hit there. This is probably why we're uh, we didn't get any Major initial. Armor loss. Yeah. Probably why we didn't get any, any initial uh, enemies. Commander. I wonder if I should just let them fire first, and then we go after the 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 easiest kill. It's a tough choice. They're gonna want to target the base, right? So if I'm not shooting them, they probably won't shoot me. That Corsair could be a nightmare too. Um, let's reserve. But I think that Halopolis has got to go. Oh, for crap's sake. So that's guy, that guy's got a rotary uh, 10, probably. Rape orders. It's time to do some fighting. Move. Okay, well, this is going to be a... A battle and a half. If these guys are older mechs, that means they've got like a lot less armor. 54. 13. Well, that's not good. 34. Oh, he's super overheating though. That's good news for us. Let's fire on this guy. In all wow, really? Reporting negative damage. Yeah. That's why you always want to have a good direct line of sight if you can get it. I hear you. Got to move as much as we can. Got yeah, I think Back we got to go me. there. No shooting. Least number of guys that can see us directly. It's interesting how the sensor rolls for the pilots are like so different. So you don't have a lot of armor, so it must be a primitive. Wait, it's 65 tons, right? So that's, I mean, I guess that's okay. It's relatively easier to kill though. Lopolis, yeah, it's got way more armor. So it's probably a newer version. And I think that's the Hellstorm. So I think we have to go after... Oh, fuck. Really? This means he's just going to shoot at me, though. So he's got a heavy rotary rifle. And a smoker. Great. Let's go after this guy. We might be able to drop him quickly if we get enough shots on this guy this turn. Ooh, nice. He's got an AMS. Sensors in good location. Excellent. Receiving you. This guy might be the key to winning this battle. I just gotta figure out how to get it into play and not get it killed. Uh so the approaches here, I mean, it's hard to see if you haven't seen this map before. We can come down here. I think we can get down over here, and there is a way, a long way around to get down on this side. Like, you'd have to come along the edge and then down the cliff here and to get around behind them. That's too many turns of not shooting at them, I think, for me, my liking. But I'm thinking we're going to come down this way. So let's go around this side. We've got to get maximum speed on this thing, like, every turn if we can. Okay, we're gonna make sure we don't have any heat when we go down there. Actually, let's leave. Yeah, we'll go this route. Engaging. Yeah, nothing. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe he won't shoot at me. Ready for orders. Uh, looks like you're gonna have to do a lot of the work here, buddy.
if you can do some of the work. This thing's got a lot of armor too, right? Rocket pack 10s and large cam lasers and a mortar 8. Man, look at this thing. Okay. Well, we knew it was going to be a challenge, so I mean, I shouldn't be uh, that surprised. All right, let's get up here. It's put me in a bit more in the open than I want to be, but it's given me the best chance to hit, so. That's pretty juicy on this Brutus. But this guy's re- I mean... We got tandems. Let's see if we can get this guy. Let's try it. Oh, that's the narc launcher making calculations again, probably. It'll all fire at once here in a second. So hopefully this does a bit of internal damage. This will do a bit of internal damage. Then the next turn we fire the same thing. Oh, hopefully we get lucky with... Nah, not enough pens. Not enough pens. God, this is a bad idea. Uh, 52. You know what? Yeah, our, our tandems aren't going to do enough damage to this guy to kill him. I think we take the best chance to hit here. Let's save the boltons. Um, let's save the SRMs. Fire on this guy. With any luck, we'll get this guy to bail out. Yeah. What and maybe no. I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Um, Copy. Okay, let's get up here. He's probably the Brutus is probably going to shoot at this guy, but we got to get on this guy now. Uh, I think we go cluster firing. Okay, that was a nice hit. Yeah, yeah, keep keep going, keep going on him. Excellent. Okay. We can take this guy this turn. Nice. So, um. Reporting. Were you fucking with it? Do we want to go after this Corsair? Oh my god, look at the back shot in the Helopolis. Thunderbolt 4-pack, arrow 1-shot, Hellstorm artillery. Look at this thing. Can't use the Hellstorm on us this close. Ah, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. As long as we don't shoot the, at the Corsair. I'm going to throw everything on this guy because I think we're only going to get one pass at it down here like this. Okay, that's good news. Inflicted some heavy damage. Engine crit is no good news. Missiles remaining. Fuck. Yeah, how much I can do about that? Not much I can do about that. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, we're going to drop some heat back up over here. And we hit the Brutus. And firing. Time to die. So let's hope the Cephalus can uh, kill that Helopolis next turn. I'm glad I put the AMS on there. I'm glad I put the AMS. Minor damage. Damage minimal. What do you need? It doesn't help that we can't see what the hell's going on most of the time. Um. Let's 
So they've gone. We can't let that Holopolis shoot at us. Let's pull back here. On my way. Because we're going to be overheating. Let's drop some missiles on this guy. Locked on. Come on, let's get lucky. Come on, bail out. Scored a critical hit. Ah, he was thinking about it. There was the pause there. I thought for sure he was going to bail out. That'd be kind of cool if we could get this friggin' Brutus as a... As a uh, that point defense is helping out a little bit. Be nice if we can get the Brutus as a uh, heavy piece command. of salvage, but oh, took a hard hit there. Calm your friggin' roll here. Moving out. Stay out of those guys' line of sight. Um, let's hold off on the on the second tandem shot. Fire the rockets too, just in case the one extra hit is what's going to kill it. I'm on it. Ah, they missed with both of the, uh... There we go. A good thing I fired the rockets. Hostile eliminated. Okay. Range missiles are out. Hey. Let's not put you in a position where those guys can see you, because that would be bad. There. Okay. Direct line of sight will just get you killed. Um... Take the best shot we can. Maybe get a head hit. Wouldn't that be nice? No. Yes. Hammer him. Awaiting orders. So this guy decided not to turn and attack me, and I'm only assuming it's because of how fast I am. So, I can't not keep up my... Sp I mean, I could just walk... St I mean, maybe there's a minimum rage on that... Uh, rotary rifle. There, I know the heavy has got a minimum range. <sighs> Chameleon's on. I mean, do we risk it? There's no way to get a shot to Holopolis without incurring the wrath of this guy. And this just puts him in a position to shoot at me. But we can't let this Holopolis shoot this turn. He's going to wreck somebody bad. Do we just like... We could just walk in behind him. No, you know what? We don't have enough to kill him with. So let's not risk it. Um, as much as I want to take a shot and try and risk it a little bit, we're going to back up here and take a shot from back here. Now that gives him range with the uh, Hellstorm to fire at me, but this way... Drop those. Actually, let's drop all the heat and we'll just fire the one. Locking on. This way we're um, at least protected a little bit. No joy. And if he does decide to turn around and shoot at me, everyone else can shoot him in the back, which will be a bonus. I'm glad that that guy's useless. Yeah. I really am. All right. Um, do we take the uh, Shadowhawk or do we... He's going to Hellstorm somebody, that guy. Uh, do we just not give him a reason to shoot us, or do we attempt to go after it? The Corsair... Oh, the Corsair's got that Rack 10, though. 
fuck me. Okay, this is a tricky one. So the Hellstorm is in that arm in the, from this torso. Heading out. Okay, let's go after the, uh, let's go after this guy. Try and grab the low-hanging fruit if we can. Nice. So that was the arrow one shot, or the one, or the thunderbolt pack, one of the two. What can I do for you? I wonder if his hellstorm is jammed. How far can you get? Not far enough. Do I keep you up here? I think we do. I read you, Commander. Let's Moving keep him up on the hill here. It's so hard to sorry guys, so hard, so hard to see where what's what. It's a good thing I kinda know the battlefield. Uh yeah, we'll just shoot this guy. Leave the sensors off though. Targeting enemy back. Oh, nice. Yeah, critical hit. We might be able to finish that guy up with the Zoria. Yeah, we're getting really lucky here, but we're only going to get this this getting turn forward. to be lucky, and then the then they're going to just murder us. That all that rotary is going to be back up. Okay, how can we shoot you and not be too too hot? Ah, oh, fuck it, just take the heat. We got to kill this guy. I have the advantage. I'm here. All right, I'm giving you a good shot. Let's take it from here. Copy. Don't want to close too much. Look at that. Enough. I do too. Not quite. Knockdown though. He's panicking. Let's see if he bails. Or we can just knock him out. That works too. Two down. Your AMS is not working that well. Yes. Damn. Let's do this. Alright, they're going on... When does the Helopolis go? 12? We go on 13. This guy's going on 14. So, I go, then the Corsair goes. So let's not be not where here. the Corsair can see us, if we can avoid it. Because he's got that rotary, he's and you know damn well he's going to use it. I mean, we could reserve. Like, I could reserve the, um, my turn here and let that Corsair go. Probably going to do that. Let's see what he does. Because he may decide to go after some buildings here. Oh, yeah, he is. Which is why he didn't fire. Alright, let's see if we can finish up this, uh, Helopolis. And I don't want to be in the, um... sensors if I can avoid it, but I guess I can't really avoid it. Well, this, this guy's doing his job, knife fighting. That's what he does best. Let's just do it. Um, gonna vigilance. Hopefully get initiative next turn. And we'll fire it all. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, attempt to target this or should I? What's the OP give me here? That's pretty damn low. But if we hit, we got a good chance to crit. Although, if I just shoot, I've got a good chance to pen other torsos and do more damage. It's a... I don't know. I want to hit. Let's just fire everything. Because maybe we get him to punch out too, right? Target confirmed. Okay, we got one... one one of the back torso hits, which is good, and we opened up his other torso. Interesting. 
interesting. Damn it. Heat damage. Yeah. Uh, getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Sure is. Oh, man. Let's hope we can go before these guys next turn. Uh, you're, you have to come off. What's the chance on the other guy? A lot better. Let's go after the Holopolis. So Thunderbolt 4 packs down. He's just got his Hellstorm and the medium heavy laser. Come on, head hit. Yeah. Ready for orders. Can't catch a break. Alright, same target. Let's just apply as much as to this guy as we can. God, the heat. Tandem packs are free. Let's use them and see if we can get something out this guy. Locked on. Ah, we missed with the heavy. SRMs. That didn't look All like out. it didn't do any tandem damage to that no. guy. It looked like it just didn't do anything at all. Standing by. Not the best place to be. On my way. But that Corsair is gone already. Um. Let's go for the damage. And here it comes. Excellent. Short range missiles are out. Come on, knock his ass over. Is that enough for a knockdown? Apparently not. But if we get initiative on him next turn. You. Which we most certainly do. I can't run the risk. Cannot run the risk of not moving. I'd love to just be able to walk up and shoot him in the back, but let's get out of the way and get some and generate some evasion just so he doesn't uh, decide that we're a good target. Uh, let's go this route, drop a little bit of heat and fire. Alright, we got one. Yes! Good to go. There it is. Alright, I'm just going to drop some heat now. Corsair can't fire at us indirectly with anything that's worthwhile, so drop that heat. Tell me what to shoot. Shoot him down, I don't care. Receiving you. Back up, Confirm. drop some heat. Oh man, this could have gone really, really badly. Oh shit! Why did I why do I open my mouth? Why? Why? Oh, I know damn, damn well oh, to not say anything. Oh, and yet I'm like, me. this could have gone really badly. Yes, Commander. Well it ain't over yet. Stupid. <laughs> oh man. Why do I even open my mouth? Acknowledged. I don't have enough to drop uh full amount here. Can we actually go? Yeah, let's use everything. I want this guy done this turn. Roger. He's super hot too, which is like I'm here. good news for us. Take a little bit of damage from the flames. Maybe we can get a knockdown if we hit him with enough stuff. So let's get the direct line of sight on him. 
Yeah, we're not even getting any uh, stability damage to this guy. But the turrets might help. Or not. Come on, ultra turret. Yes! Awaiting orders. Arr, it's taser face. Confirmed. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a vehicle moving this thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, not bad. Waiting for orders. He's standing in flames. This guy's going to be burning hot if he attempts to shoot. On my way. Much as I want to move up and shoot him, Got we're already uh, at risk of losing uh, that side. Oh, destroyed his claws. Critical hit, Commander. Hey. Actually, get in the trees. Not that it'll help all that much, because it I'm sure better. as hell didn't help the. Uh, it didn't help the Cloudbuster that much. I really hope the Cloudbuster's not gone. Copy that. Firing Alpha Strike. Oh, there you go. Nectis. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. Let's hope Cloudbuster's not toast. We're not in a moon environment, so... Ah, my main guy got hit in the head again. It's two times in a row now. There's a full Holopolis here, but we can't get all the parts. I think it just makes sense to take all four. Although... We don't have anything to put this on, though. What is it fire? Medium rifle ammo. XL gyro. I mean, technically... There's medium rifle ammo there. Nine shots. And Sabo rounds. More damage dealt to armor. So, I mean... There's two choices. One, we could go after the Holopolis and grab that. Or two, we could grab the Hellstorm Artillery, the XL Gyro, the Ammo. Hmm. And the Pirate Fire Control System and throw it all into the Hunchback. That's a tough choice, but I think if we're going to go up in weight or be able to take on heavier missions, I think this is probably the smart choice, and we hope we get this piece right here. And just to see if that works, we're going to go that route and confirm. What do you think? Did we get it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was close though. All right, we got a mortar eight. That's not bad. Thunderback Thunderbolt four pack isn't too bad if you have good chances to hit and they have no AMSs. For four tons, it's not that bad. I mean, you're only doing sixty damage times four in total, but I would prefer the mortar eight over that. Two twenty five engine fuel cell can go. That can go. Reinforced structure. We'll hang on to. I don't know if we'll use it, but it's not that 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 bad. That can go. Upper spike shoulder we'll probably hang on to. We may build a melee mech in this one. I don't know yet. Large chemical ammo. Uh, let's hang on to it. I don't see it that often. And it's not really going to cost us that much to hold on to it at the moment. So let's keep that. Yeah, so close. So close yet so far. Alright. 80 grand. Not too bad. And we did not lose the... Uh, excellent. We didn't lose the... Uh, uh, Cloudbuster. Sorry, it took me a second there to figure out what I was going to say. So, looks like we got not too bad of a repair time here. So, 
yeah 10 days it looks like it's going to be the most we can go at so if we go do that six finishes then the four goes in and then the seven finishes the one goes in so yeah it's a bit of time i don't think we lost any components so it's not so bad but yeah that um that Holopolis, man if we can get another piece that'd be nice to be able to at least feel that pull the hunchback out put that out there i don't know what we would put in it though but i mean if we get the hellstorm artillery and everything that's already in there then we'll leave it um but I think I would pull out if the Hellstorm's there, we keep it. But I think the Thunderbolt Nero one shot could probably come out. Maybe drop an LRM ten or something in. We need a secondary weapon so that when the Hellstorm isn't firing, because I think with that, I think you want to probably go all out. Let it jam, or the recoil would be ridiculous, and then spend a couple turns letting the recoil go away and or unjamming the weapon while you're firing your secondary. But I think the secondary would need to be an indirect, so maybe like the Mortar 8 or something, just to, so we have continuous use out of it. Because I think that thing, the, the Hellstorm, I think you really just kind of need to go all in when you're firing it. Because we, I mean, we saw the effectiveness of that, right? When it went all in every single time, it fired six rounds, right? So it was like totally effective. And then it was like shut down for a couple of turns, right? But that's definitely something to think about. We do need to get another Helopolis part though. So maybe at some point in time we'll find one in a store somewhere. Wouldn't that be nice? Wow, you got a full behemoth. Four LRM-5s, couple machine guns, SRM-2, AC-10, SRM-6. All right, let's grab this. New equipment available. We do have enough for the end of the month, so we are okay. Actually, there's probably a couple of other things I can sell because we're going to be going past the end of the month here. Probably a couple of other things I could sell, but um, I'll probably go through that uh, between episodes. So we're going to end this one here. We're going to stay here for a bit, I think, because we do have this one we we could take. I know it's against Brasselhag, but we've got we should have enough um, rep with them now that it won't drop a level if we take the mission. So, I mean, we might take this first and then this, or I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we just go this route and see what happens, see what we can get. Oh yeah, you know what? Maybe not. Uh, so this is one of the ones that can be very lucrative um, or very uh, unit destroying. So the, uh, the, this one here says we see the signature of an assault class mech closing on the base's location. We need you to drop immediately to protect that base. So if you have the ability to tie up an assault mech using infernos or something like that, uh, then this is definitely a good mission to take. If you don't have that ability, like we don't, this is a very bad mission to take because stopping the assault mechs, because it's random, right, what you get, uh, is very difficult and, it, and usually it's two. Every time I've done this this job, it's not two uh, or one assault class mech, it's two. One comes down with the dropship, and the second one is in the reinforcements. So, um, yeah, like I said, unless you have the ability to tie one up with heat, or you get really good turrets on your side, and they're able to help you out, then this is a, just a bad choice. I mean, it gives you the opportunity to grab an assault mech early, which is one of the reasons why I like this mission, but it's like... Yeah, if you can't, uh, yeah, if you know you can't take down an assault mech, then don't bother trying it. And we had a hard enough time with the Corsair and the Holopolis without actually losing losing stuff. This one plus like extra lances would be tough. So I think we're probably going to go, you know, this route here first. Uh, that's against Rasselhag. There's probably a few here that are against non-Rasselhag. Maybe what's are you against the local government? Local Rasselhag. Does that mean it's... You're against Rasselhag. So, I don't know. I'm not going to jump just yet. I don't think it's worth... Well... We're out for 16 days, so I'm going to jump then. It just makes sense to jump and go somewhere else. We're not getting the, exactly the missions that I think are the best here. And while I like to try that two skull against the assault mechs we just don't have the juice to do that and i know from just experience so we're gonna jump again 
uh, while my commander comes back. And then we'll pick it up um, on the new planet and hopefully get another two and a half, or sorry, a one and a half, two skull mission that we can pick up that's going to be uh, pretty lucrative, just like this one was. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.